It's a problem that Southern Maine has been dealing with for years. Where to place the hundreds of families who've come here seeking a better life with almost nothing to call their own. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Tori Wright, and in for Pat Callahan. As we just mentioned, right now a majority of those families who've recently come to Portland are being housed at four local hotels, spending months crowded into rooms designed for a stay of just a few days. That public-private partnership has been strained recently to the point that two of the hotels said they'd be pulling out of the agreement in the coming year. But now there's new hope for those families. Here's New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse. In the coming months, Avesta Housing plans to open two properties in the greater Portland area with enough space to provide housing to 100 asylum-seeking families. Having a, an apartment of one's own with a kitchen and, and uh, dining area is, is the way people should be living. Many families seeking asylum have been housed in local hotels paid by municipalities in general assistance funding. Avesta Housing President and CEO Dana Totman says these projects will help alleviate the costs associated with hotels. As we can imagine, staying in hotels is very expensive and um, it's costing the, the city and the state a lot of money, so housing is uh, certainly a less expensive option. The two projects are still under construction, with the first slated to be built by October. Totman says Avesta is still finalizing contracts and securing funding, but asylum seekers could be moving out of hotels and into apartments by the start of 2023. This tells them that we are a caring and welcoming and accepting community. Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center Executive Director Reza Jalali excited to keep these new Mainers in Maine and hopes asylum seekers can help address workforce challenges too. They're educated, they're motivated, they're young, they're willing to work. And that's exactly the community and the people we need so badly here in Maine. According to the Governor's Office of Policy Innovation in the Future, rent payments for these asylum seekers will be covered for two years through funding approved by the legislature. After two years, Topman says asylum seekers would have had time to go through the asylum application and work permit process and could begin paying rent in what would eventually be considered affordable housing units. We can secure the housing and get these um, uh, households stabilized. They can then start to fill the many jobs that, that need to be filled. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse. New Center, Maine. Avesta has not said exactly where these housing units are being built. Dana Totman adds, however, that for families with children already in the public school system, they'd work to move them from a hotel to an apartment that would allow them to continue attending the same school.